Hey everyone, Wilson from Ready Set Element. Wanted to show you guys an update on the Pelsey mirror dash cam. We installed the backup rear camera right above here. So when I'm driving, I'm actually leaving this on full time. It's actually recording the back of the car and the front of the car. Remember, it does have a front facing camera. I did run the wire. Um, nothing uh, fancy or anything. I kind of just ran it under here. And actually, if you tuck it in nicely, you should have an issue going all the way around. I'll open the door and show you guys. And we have the awning from Guana Equipment. If you look right here, it's recording the back of the car. It records the audio as well. So while it's recording the back of the car, you can um, actually show, I mean, the front of the car. Now again, I did mention in this in my first review that although it might show it's not in frame, it is recording. See, this is the back here, but if you switch it to just the front, you know, it looks kind of off there, and then just the rear. And if you want to turn it off off there again the mirror is right over your original mirror which is nice to install but overall i just kind of tucked it in away there and all through this corner here which I actually need to clean but had no issues there i really enjoy this as a backup camera and just kind of like having this as a live feed i am gonna eventually uh buy the additional uh cable that is about twenty dollars so instead of having it hooked up to the uh, car you can have it hooked up to the battery of the car, having it like a security camera, your car is being recorded at all times, which is awesome. Let's come out here. We have the Rob DZ roof rack on top. This is the sport rack. Um, overall, I think I've gotten more compliments on that rack um, than our previous one. It is a nice aluminum grade. And you can see, it doesn't take up much room of your car and um, I haven't noticed the change in gas mileage as well. Um, I've also upgraded the tires to the Falcon Wild Peaks. These are the 215-70 R16. Um, I should have gone for the 235-70s, um, but I decided to end up going with the original ones just since Honda decided that's what the car came with, that's what I'll do. So, you know, looking at that and they've been nice. Gives it like a bigger inch. We also have the bike hatch installed here. And then on top, the lever that pulls this part. And a handle to pull back the rear. You can bring this down. So it is pretty awesome to use right now as like a uh, shade while we sit on the hatch here. And we still have the two seats. Keeping it ordinary and the side tables by element driven and again giving you guys a look on that camera so i'll be giving you guys an update on how that shows but overall you know kind of give you guys a view here if you can see that it looks really good i like it and especially as a security if you're living in your element and you park it somewhere you want to make sure your elements being protected at all times this is a good option for about i believe it's you're under a hundred dollars for this one for both front and back camera it comes all together so that's not a bad deal. So let me know what you guys think. Um, and thanks for watching. Ready, set, element. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.